Our next caller is Kyle from Canada. What's up, Kyle? What's up, man? Hey, guys. How's it going? Good, good. good. How yeah. can we help you? Okay, so uh, I'd love to say thank you for everything you guys do in your podcast. It's amazing. Um, my question is, so I got a two-year-old and a two-month-old at home right now. Um, so quite busy. And the only time I have to work out is about after 7 o'clock or so at night once they get to bed. And I've always heard so much about getting protein in right after your workout or shortly after your workout. Um, what is your guys' thought on that? And if so, would it be okay to take a protein shake at that point as I don't want to eat kind of a meal around 8.30 at night or so? Yeah. All, what's important is that you hit your protein targets Throughout for the day. day. Yeah. That's all. So if you if taking a shake after your workout lets you hit those targets, then do it. If you've already hit your targets, then it doesn't matter. Yeah. That's that's a very simple the post okay. post workout shake is or the post workout meal 30 minute anabolic window that you've heard is is you're talking about the science that supports that is splitting hair difference. I mean, I competed at the highest level and didn't give a shit about that. So you can build and sculpt an amazing it, it literally doesn't matter it only matters yeah. if you're going to work out again an hour or two later so but but um the breakfast the next morning does the same job so it's literally did you hit your protein targets no i didn't cool i'll have a shake yes i did then i don't need a shake kyle you know how i would how i would make this decision if i was you was how does eating at that time affect my your sleep, sleep. Yes. that's the most important if thing. you Big if you find that eating post-workout uh, at night like that it disrupts or you don't get as good a sleep as you do if you were to go to bed on more of an empty stomach, then I would do my best to get my protein intake in before I even work out and eat absolutely nothing after, after your training and be totally fine. Now, if you feel fine after eating a meal that late at night and still, and you get great sleep still, then I wouldn't make a big deal about it. And I would say, sure, go ahead, eat, eat as late as you want. So as long as you're falling in your macro target, it doesn't matter. Okay, perfect. Yeah, because I've been hitting my protein target well before working out anyways. I was just, I didn't know, like, the protein shake after was just boosting my no. protein, but, like, I was well over. I get 200 to 250 grams a day of protein, and oh, I track that on perfect. my fitness pal, so it's somewhere close. Um, so, I like, I do well more than enough with the protein, without the protein shake. I was just I didn't know if I needed the protein after the workout no, or not. Or no, what. No, no, there's you're nothing, there's you're nothing magical about taking it. No, post, no. Post yeah, you're good. I, I would go to bed fasted and see how you feel. Yep. I think you'll probably yeah. sleep better like yeah. that. More totally. sleep is going to do more for you, for sure. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, guys. You right got on, it, man. Kyle. Thanks yeah. for calling Question, in. Yeah, yeah. See ya. Looks like he was cutting trees or something down. <laughs> yeah, put down his chainsaw. One of my before. lumberjack buddies. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, you know, we haven't got to hide in the back corner of his of his backyard. It's the only place he could find peace. When he yeah. gets <laughs> <laughs> like, where the fuck do I take this call? Hey, the total dad. One, right one there. of these days, we're gonna get a dad who calls in. He's on the toilet. He's in the you know? toilet. Yeah. Yeah, in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. I keep hey guys, waiting. Yeah, I'm calling in right guys, now. Guys, I got a second. Here's someone to, to, to ask. Yeah. Daddy. I, uh, you know, we we haven't talked about that in a while, but um, we hit that all the time when we first started the podcast. But it's it was a marketing ploy. It was a way to attach. Yeah. yeah, it was a way to attach uh, the, the the protein shake to something that people do when they work out, which is work out, and it increased the usage, and it also made it more ne necessary because post workout it's convenient. You're not going to cook something. People aren't going to eat a meal at the gym, so it's brilliant marketing. Actually, yeah. dramatically increased the sales of protein, and then a lot of people saw results. Because they needed to eat more protein, not because it had a post workout. Well, and you've heard me talk about this. The only time I ever felt value in like getting a shake or getting a meal right after a workout was just when I was bulking and I needed the you calories. Needed the extra calories. Yeah. And so I was trying to find ways like, man, where do I fit in an extra three, four hundred calories yeah. to hit my calorie intake every day? That's right. Oh, you know what? If I pounded a shake right after the after I lifted, by the time I drove home, showered, then I could eat another meal. And so that's where I saw value in it, not because it was this in this 30 minute window to to build muscle.